then we will be taking a wire gauge this is called as the wire gauge okay so that we are able to control the heat by putting this one then we will be taking the mixture of iron and sulfur which it has been taken in the petri dish and 7 gram of iron has been taken plus five, uh, 4 grams of sulfur has been taken in order to make the mixtures we will be putting it here then after that after forming the compound we will be studying the properties of the compound okay with all the three aspects Now, till the mixture it goes on its uh, for its preparation, we will go for the our another experiment. That is, yesterday I have explained the theory part. That one is to separate the mixture of sand, salt, and ammonium chloride. Okay. Okay. So a compound of a mixture of iron and sulfur. Iron feels grey in color, sulfur powder yellow in color. It was being taken. And in the ratio of 7 is to 4, that means 7 grams of iron and 4 grams of sulfur, it was been taken in a petri dish and the action of heat was being applied. Now we are going to see its properties. Now we are going to see the properties of the compounds. Yeah, yeah. So the compound which now we have prepared that is, the compound which I have prepared that is iron sulfide. Okay. Now, the first property of the compound which we are going to study is appearance. Okay. So, we have seen that uh, when we prepare the mixture of iron and sulfur and when we saw it through our magnifying glass, at that time we were able to clearly see the iron felix and the sulfur powder because they did not form a new compound and they were retaining its property. So, iron as well as the sulfur powder, it was seen distinctly while you are making a compound but while you are making a mixture now this is the mixture that is the iron sulfide which we have prepared by heating the mixture of iron and sulfur so what is the color of the compound yeah. that means iron sulfide it is of what color black color the iron sulfide it is of what color yeah. black color okay now if i am taking the magnifying glass and telling you in order to see okay this one I, you will be able to see if I am putting here and then if I tell a student to see with a magnifying glass and see the iron particles can you by looking the by looking from the magnifying glass whether we will be able to distinguish which is iron and which is sulfur are we no okay so that means while making a compound when we are making a compound after making a compound the constituent of the compounds Particularly here, here we are making iron sulfide. That means iron and sulfur cannot be seen and cannot be distinguished because we are not able to distinguish. So what is the appearance of the compound? It is homogeneous. Now homogeneous compounds are those compounds whose constituents cannot be distinctly visible. Whose comp components are not distinctly visible, then we are calling it as a homogeneous compound. That means iron sulfide, which is a compound, is a what type of mixture? It is a homogeneous type of substance.